Welcome! This is the second part of the Naruto Ultimate Hero Marmalade Party reading. Listener discretion is advised. Extremely advised. Day 3 Bright and early, all was they up to eat breakfast and spa some. Naruto sees all his girls' skills, how good Amy and Tintin were with being of the Sai and weapon fighting, and Chizune and Yakumo and can just do battle that blur reality into a mess of love juice. Uh, Eureka and Samu work of their jutsus too, making cool steam jutsus and discussing more battling tactics. Naruto did some sparring with Eureka and knowed her okay hand to hand skills, but he went to being talking of with her. Feel someone watching us for distance, he said. We can nod like notice too. You want to do the skiing real quick? Naruto nodded, and they slip over to behind the tent. Eureka fondled Naruto's boss and peered, stroked at his penis, getting him into a shape. It was quick. <coughs> and Eureka put a shape in her mouth to slick it, and they all sat down and Eureka got him inside her. She groaned, and there was a short anime flash of light, and she started to look around for scannings. They're at the top of the mountain, right above us, she whispered to Naruto. Eureka started to being stand up, but Naruto held her down as she looked at him with eyebrow surprisings. Y you want to? Yes, I don't want us just to go flying around him, and that will be it. I don't want to use you like that. Well then come on. Take me. So Eureka sexed on Naruto, and Naruto put her arms around him, sexing with smooth grindings as Naruto kissed her chest. Well, surprise, sexing Naruto. Eureka put Naruto in all way by sit down hard, and hold Naruto close as she moved her and whisper, Come on, come on. And Naruto put them both on ground and squeezed Eureka's buttocks as he pulled his shape out a tiny bit and then pounded Eureka with hard sexing until her curly muscles got tight and tight and tighter until they were squeezing and grinding each other and Eureka stifled her by sucking on Naruto's neck and let out her love juice on him and Naruto throbbed in her as her curly muscles kept holding his shape hard. Eureka rolled to being of Wazatha on and hold Naruto down. We're gonna go for two, Naruto. Think you can afford to keep up with me? Naruto gulps and Eureka began to sex on Naruto with speed of lustings for orginess and surprise sexings. I slow down and sex on Naruto all the way. Really hold him tight and squeeze with the curly muscles. Once again, Naruto kept hold of her buttocks, slapping and feeling and queasing, <laughs> feeling their firmness. They get louder the movings, and Eureka rubbed her girly butt in a bit before clamping on Naruto, her hardest yet, screaming with loud sex moanings as she filled him in her, and her girly muscles pulsed with glory as she let out her love juices again. Naruto could barely move, but he kept up the hard sexings, and after a little while he throbbed in Eureka again, too. Even though Naruto was being to lose his shape from other sexings, Eureka still stayed on him and kissed him. So long. Naruto almost not here to say, and he put his fingers in her hair. Because of the sweet songings. After they were on, Eureka checked that the person they'd felt wasn't there anymore. As we went back out, a cloud passed over the camp, bringing the darkness of happy day, and they girls were snagulating before the rest of the day. <laughs> Phew, that was some tough sparring. Samui smirked. So, you like it? Yes, but I think we can all learn stuff from each other. Shizune up interrupted with smooth noticings. Yeah, Shizune can help me with my to son and teach me the medical fields, Yakubu said. And already I'm learning more stuff about weapons from Tintin, Amy compostulated. 
So let's keep up the teamwork to be the best. Naruto did the nice guy pose, and Tintin giggled. Well, what are you going to teach us, Naruto? The Rasengan? Tintin asked with joyous sarcasm. Well, I could try, but it's really hard at first. I was just kidding. But no, I think it would be a good jutsu for you all. It doesn't need hand signs. So you'll actually do it? Yakubo asked. She was thinking this would be epic win for a jutsu to be the good genjutsu master and have a Rasengan. Ah, nodded Naruto over now, Sutin. But later, a nigga needs to eat. <laughs> So Naruto became with gleeful snackings and enjoyed his double chocolate, infinite energy protein bars. The time passed with smilings, but soon it was of for the being for the next plans. Are we ready? The girls nodded, and Eureka said, We'll be going after another girl on my list, and it seems she is by a training ground in her man's base there. They haven't moved. Then they got into the flight formation, with Shizune and Yakume riding on Eureka, who had her fingers in Amy and Tintin's girly tubes, and Samui rode on Tintin. Lift off! Then they flew off, Eureka steering them in high speed turnings. It was almost cool fun ride, but they was became swift, and the time of flight was not too long. I can see a guy in his hair and hiding in the trees at two o'clock. That's the place, Eureka confirms. So they descend with grace like teen boys and lads. I've come to challenge you, so come on out, Naruto shouted. It was quiet, but then Naruto heard buzzings and perceived it was Shino they were facing. Tintin did a quick earth just do, making a fast spike to land slip as a lusty penis at where she saw a hider from air. There was a yell of surprisings, and then Shino and his girls came out. Naruto was surprised to see he had four, and his mount was a girl with long dark hair Naruto didn't recognize. But to his side was Hinata. His vision felt red, and blood trickled from his nose as he saw her sex in his big and soft and curvy, but not too big like Samui, but embarrassing like she knew he was at first. He knew she knows other two girls from Academy, but he only knew their faces and not their names right then. It does be perceived that you have to be coming of the great Naruto. You seek a seven women? I know I can beat Toby. I must for sure be the one to face him. And you have four girls now. Who's getting greedy? She knows side. I hold on. She knows sexed his mount girl for a moment and then continued. <clears throat> Him, it is not greed, but like as thou hast explicated to the defending of our village. Let us see was wanting it more. She knows, signaled, and his girls lined up in front of each other, and bent down to sex the girl in front of with their mouths. Then Shino was making hand signs, and made his jutsu revealed. Hidden insect style jutsu, human centipede formation. There was an anime flash of light from the mount girl to Hinata, and the girl's mouth stretched and fused with the buttocks of the girl in front, so they looked like one piece. And there was another anime flash of light, and then Shino said, Anus to mouth fusion complete. Then Hinata activated her Bakugan, and they all flew up in air like Chinese dragon and circled for Naruto. His girls lift off, and there was surreal kunai attackings between the girls, twisting and spiraling like madness of tragic hero's mind. Naruto took them back out of range for big kunai brawl from Amy and Tintin, but Shino did another just do, and his girls stretched all the way, and Hinata hit Samui in the arm with a Byakugan strike. Samui could no longer make a fist with that hand. Tintin went for a kunai attacking, but the Shino's girls twisted away, and there was a jutsu surge, and the girls made hand signs, and Hinata used a fire-breathing jutsu. Samui did a water stream jutsu to help as they did a rocket fire boost dodge, but it was close. Yakumo, Shizune, go! They nodded, and Yakumo caught Hinata's eye and did a genjutsu on her, so that Hinata felt like she was floating with wild uncontrol. Used a different version of her poison mist just to a slower kind but still strong, and Shizune and Hinata went right into it. 
She now see this and decodes his luck and then do crazy thing. He grunted and swung his girls <laughs> so that he not knocked against a tree and then did it again a bit later. That was a good plan, but I know you can't think ahead, Naruto. This battle will be mine. It seemed Hinata was alert again, and her Byakugan was off. Then Shino's girls had their kunai out again, and Shino was of being due for the next big justu. Here we go, human centipede formation, burrowing stinger. Then Shino's girls began to spin like a drill, faster and faster, as they chase after Naruto till they was becoming for the blood. Amy used a fire truck or kunai for the throwings, but it was deflected and the explosion was blown away by the spinning winds. There was piercing wine from the ultra spinning, and Shino yelled as they charged forwards, but it was a miss. Then Hinata belched fire breathing jutsu again, and the girls began for a being of the flamey drill. Break that technique, Samui said. We have no chance otherwise. All right, said Naruto. Amy and Tintin, combo three. Naruto gave a big surge of charge to them, and they made hand signs and gave a yell like twins. Legendary collabo, just to reverse meteor technique. There was a rumble and a big glow of earth shot up that became flame. There was a big anime fire explosion, and the reverse meteor broke up, and it was an explodication in small craters with the rubble. It stopped Shino and his girls in their tracks, but Hinata was really hurt, and overall Shino's girls looked kind of beat up. Amy and Tendon were panting from their jutsu, being of the tiredness. Quite the impressive jutsu, but I'm not done yet, Naruto. Shino made more hand signs and called with epicness. Hidden insect style, apocalypse plague. There was bubbly surge to Shino's girls, and then huge swarm of his bugs poured from Hinata's mouth and eyes and ears. The bugs spread and fly to the blocking out of the sun. Then fall like pourings of buzzing black rain. Naruto and his girls couldn't have avoided this, and lots of bugs got him. Naruto! She's may look back and say she knows bugs right into her mouth. So he gave her a big sir of Chaka and put his fingers into her pussy. And then Shizune did a jutsu and made a big sphere of poison mist juts around them. The bugs still rained in, but the poison got them and they fell off, and the bugs eating on Naruto's girls and Charco were poisoned too and fell off. Then the poison cloud drifted apart, and it was Hinata coming in for Bakugan attacking them. But Tintin and Amy fought her off, and Amy used a big punch to Hinata's chin. But Hinata and the other girls stretched again, and with surprising dropped around Naruto with sexy squeakings. They lifted him up for a big smash on the ground, but some would jump up from Tintin and sock Shiwa hard in face, then mount his girl and give him beat down. It continued for a minute, but then she known those bugs, and they attacked her, and she fell off. She knows girls unwrapped Naruto, but gave stealthy Kunai a tassing to Aang and Tintin. They sains now! Shizune yelled with rage fumings, and she offered over Yakumo, and the Kurama girl put Hinata in another floaty genjutsu. She knows sent his bugs at Shizune, but she used a big chocolate scalpel to slash at them and flew past Shino with an anime slashing of her chakra scalpels, and Amy threw more fire chakra kunai that exploded. Both Naruto and Shino's harems drifted down, tired. But suddenly Shino was bleeded, and bugs flew from a wound on his stomach. I... I surrender, he moaned with defeat. For a while, all lay in the wasteland from the big jutsu, then Shizune got back up. She started by a heel of girl she knew was a trained in medic jutsu, and then they healed Hinata and everyone else all they could. The girl on my list was Hinata, Eureka whispered to Naruto. He nodded, then walked around to help everyone into a certain position. 
So, what do you claim for your victory and winnings, Tartel? Naruto looked at Shinozo's girls, knowing he had a good harem, but he already knew his pick. I... I'd like to claim Hinata, Naruto said with false confidence. But Hinata nodded ladyishly and limped over to Naruto's harem. And remind me never to make Shino angry, Naruto said, and everybody gave tired chucklings. Um, I noticed near the end with my Byakugan our base is still intact. We have some more healing supplies there. So they nodded and went past over the craters and towards a finding of the base of Shino's harem. It was a short walk that feel as if a mile I was so tired, but they made it and Shizune and Hinata and the girl with long dark hair helped apply ointments and bandages and all just relaxed for a little while. But then it was lunch time and Naruto's harem said their goodbyes and lifted off for their base. This flight seemed very quick, and before he knew it, Naruto was snacking it up with his girls on the Hokafe's head. There was a couple awkward moments after, but Naruto knew he should do some things, and he and Amy went to his tent, and he recharged her. After Amy tent him came in, and he recharged her too. But now Naruto was tired from recharging her, so he snuggled with Tintin, and they both snapped together in cozy sleepings. It was being the afternoons when they woke up and Tintin kissed Naruto before the smile of being to leave his tent. Naruto yawned and stretched and stepped outside for air freshings. The sky seemed like a virgin lover who did not know the pain reaching up into it, and Naruto sighed. But then he heard Tchaikovic's suicide <coughs> and saw a Tenata. Naruto! He not was blushed like spring rosebuds and looked at the girl. I think... I think we should. So Naruto blushed too and looked away. Ah, uh, uh, let's let's step into my tent then. <laughs> Naruto said with chuckling nervousness. They went in and sat down, and Hinata blushed even more, but held Naruto's hand and looked into his eyes. She scooted closer and put her arm around Naruto, and she started breathing heavy. Naruto, I love you. I. This was almost a surprise to Naruto. He knew Hinata act weird around him, and she was a good friend. That... Uh, that means a lot, Hinata. Thanks. I... I know you like Sakura, Naruto. You don't have to lie. No, I do like her. I just... Now that you are here, I kind of realize I like you too, Hinata. Love filled the air between them, and slowly Hinata leaned for being of the kiss, and fall with Naruto on the blankets. It was hot with the longings, and beautiful like summer breeze. Hinata kissed with the happy mornings, and took Naruto's hand and guided it over her body. I want this to be yours, all of it, forever, every inch of me. After more soft kissings, Hinata began to grind on Naruto a little, feeling him get a shape. So she sat up and caressed Naruto's mouth and penis, getting him to his full shape. She took shallow breaths and closed her eyes and slowly put Naruto's shape in her pussy up into her girly tube. Uh, uh, Naruto! <coughs> yes, oh yes. Hinata went slow with her sex scenes at first, but after the claiming just to Marco flashed on her back, she became hungry with her sex and pulling Naruto up to sit with her, holding him close to her bosom as she remained and sexed him like a laughter pendulum. Naruto put his hands on her hips and slowly licked her and kissed on Hinata's breast as the the flavor of the girl who loved him so much. She tasted like the victory of the first flower after winter, like sparkling dew after an April shower. Hinata was feeling the sexiness build up and flow from every part of her to her girly pots and legs, and soon it all overflowed before she could think of holding it in. And Hinata gave her lusty moaning scent to Naruto's ear, and the gripping of Hinata's curly muscles made Naruto start to throb in her. Hinata collapsed into a mess of happy lustings, kissing Naruto and whispering, Thank you, over and over. Hinata cuddled with Naruto a while. They knew what it was becoming of the time for was the evening supper meal. So they went out and started up the campfire. Tintin and Yakumo came out and helped to make the soup. You know being good of the cooks, Naruto. 
he objects, but no, they're right. And so pretend like he was angry as the girls put veggies and bits of Kanoha Mountain oysters in, but it began to smell really good, so he dropped back. So, he not have begun, though Nami and Mamoka were fire release users, Nakira was a medic man, but Marie must tell us here. I'm a good jutsu user, Yakube said. And I use lots of weapons for my scrolls, remember? Ditsum supplied. Amy is pretty good with fire, Justy. And Samu is cool with water. Water, Jutsu. And of course, you know, she's in me. Me. And Yurik is good with the planning, too. And she can scan the area and tell if any hounds or people are around, kind of like your Byakugan. And she can tell what charcoal nature people have, too. I wonder what my charcoal nature is. Yakube went in onto us, but looked at us. Yurik could probably tell you in a little bit, Ditsum said. Yakumo nods and adds another punch of herbs to the soup. I have earth nature chakra. Then the supper was made, the girls being taught of silly stuff like purses and their favourite panties and farts. <coughs> Naruto shakes his head and tune them out, and enjoy the good cookings of Yakumo and Tintin and Hinata. It was fun and silly meal, and Naruto went back into his tent happy. It was big a day, with epic harem battle and climbing in auto. He thinked of the girls in his harem, how he was starting to like Tint, and how Yakumo and Shizune liked him. Oh, and Amy. I can't leave her out of this becoming, she's worked so hard. I should go and talk to her. But not to you on with her, After I take a little nap. But it was not a small nap. Stars and darkness became the sky when Naruto left us in. Suddenly, he could feel the watchings again. Come down and we can talk. It's Naruto Uzumaki. So Naruto heard pebbles tumble down as a person approached. Then a silky landing behind a tent. They shuffled for words, and in the firelight, Naruto could see a person was wearing stealthy clothes and had orange hair. Who are you? The person pulled up their mask, and it was a girl. And she looked familiar, or grown up. She took off her hat and shook out her hairs. It's May, Sasume, Naruto. Do you remember? From the Fuma clan? Oh, that's you, Sasume? That was so long ago, I almost forgot. So what brings you here? Well, I got permission from the elders to train a brown almost as soon as you left, so I've been in Kanoha for a while. People don't trust outside a ninja, really, but I've gotten by. I have a couple friends at the interrogation division I've taken with formations. You got to do missions? Just the small stuff, nothing too important. I'm from another country, remember? I bet I got assigned to the interrogation division in the wall. And then this happened. I was a bad up at the start and I've been on the run for an crap since. Or have you been on the run? I felt someone watching this yesterday. Hey, you caught me. I've been seeing you flying to and from here and I took a paint. See me, that's like a nice group you've got here. Yeah, they're great. Damn. I've known most of them for a while, so we're mostly all friends. You guys seem pretty close. Sesame was silent for a minute, but then walked around the fire to Naruto's side. But I guess I'm asking you to so join them. The group, Naruto, could I? Naruto did not have to think about it, as usual. Of course, Sesame. Then let's go to your tent, and you can... Um, claim me. Uh, oh yeah, that. Um. So Naruto leads the way, and once in his tent, Sasami took a tiny light from a pocket and turned it on and put it on the floor. It was okay to see with him. In feeling the slow motion of Naruto, Sasami stripped it down, revealing her nice, aesthetic shape. How do I look? Sasami asked with wink. She spread open her legs and leaned her head back. She looked of the sexy to Naruto and he got a shape fast. He carefully put a shape in Sasame's vegan, and she pulled him down on top of her, and he began to sex her gently. I'm not made of glass, Naruto, honey. Come on. Sasame gasped, and as Naruto increased his sexing and raped her, legs around his back, and just then the clay mark activated. Hmm, uh, okay, I think it might. Naruto pulled out and laid on her side next to Shima Suzume. Whatever the girl was. <clears throat> so now I'm yours. 
Maybe we'll finish this later. Then Sosame wrapped Arma's sleeping zone, Arto, and drifted off into the dreamy.